Here we will see thread life cycle in C sharp. A thread in C sharp has a life cycle which will start when we create the instance of the thread class and the thread life cycle ends when the task execution of the thread is completed or when the thread is terminated. A thread in C sharp at any point exists in any one of the following state. Unstarted state that is new state, runnable state that is ready to run state, then running, not runnable state and dead state. This is the pictorial representation of the thread life cycle in C sharp. First we will see unstarted state or new state. When we create an instance of a thread class, it is in unstarted state. That is, the thread is just created but it is not yet started. The following is an example to create thread instance in C sharp. That is thread then object name equal to new thread with the method name. Once you execute the above statement, the thread is created but it is in unstarted state. In unstarted state, the thread is not considered as alive. Once the start method is called on the thread instance, it leaves the unstarted state and enters to the next state. But once it leaves the unstarted state, it is impossible for a thread to return back to this unstarted state in its lifetime. The unstarted state can also be called the new state. Second is runnable state that is ready to run. When we call the start method, then the thread will move from the unstarted state to runnable or ready to run state. That is, now the thread is eligible to run but it is not running yet because the thread scheduler has not selected it to run. It might be possible that there could be multiple threads in the runnable state. If there are multiple threads in the runnable state, then the thread scheduler will decide which thread from the runnable state should be moved to the next state that is running state. A thread in the runnable state is considered to be alive. A thread can return to runnable state after coming back from the sleeping, waiting, blocked or running state. Next is running state. A thread will enter into the running state when the thread scheduler select it to run. Only one thread within a process can be executed at a time. At the time of execution, the thread is in the running state. A thread in the running state is alive. From the running state, a thread can enter into the not runnable state, runnable state or dead state. Next is not runnable state. A thread in C sharp enters into the not runnable state in the following scenarios. When a thread finds itself in any one of the below situation, then the thread will move into the not runnable state and the thread is no longer eligible to run. But even in this state, the thread is still considered to be alive. Some people also refer to this state as wet slip joint state. Different situations are when we call the wait method on the thread object and it is waiting for the other threads to notify it or wake up it. When we call the sleep method on the thread object and ask to sleep for some duration of time. When a thread has called the join method on another thread which makes the first thread wait until another thread has finished its execution. And when a thread is waiting for an input output or other resources to be free. Note that when the thread gets out of its not runnable state, then it will re-enter into the runnable state. Next is dead state. When the thread completed its task, the thread enters into the dead, terminate or abort state. That is, the execution of the thread is finished. This is the last state in the thread's life cycle. A thread enters the dead state after it has successfully completed executing its entry point method that is start or when the abort method has been called on it to abort its execution. In this state, a thread is considered to be not alive and hence if you try to call the start method on a dead thread, it rises the thread state exception. A thread.threadState method is used to check state of thread.